What's going on fellow YouTubers? This is I Dig Your Grave here bringing you some Black Ops Domination on Crisis. So I'm going to give you guys a helpful tip uh, to make you a little bit better at uh, Black Ops and that is watch your minimaps. I don't know how many times I have killed the other team when they even, you know, have a Blackbird in the air. They don't watch their minimaps. How can I just sneak up on you when there is a Blackbird in the air and you don't kill me? There, there's something really wrong with that. Watch your peripherals. Watch that minimap. If you want to get better, be, be aware of your surroundings. One of those, those things is watch the minimap. It really helps you, especially most people don't even run with uh, silencers anymore. Watch those minimaps. If you see a red dot, you know, assume there's someone over there and make sure you're ready to kill them when they come your way. So, actually, I want to talk to you guys today about what you should do when you get pulled over by the cops. So I'm going to tell you uh, a situation that happened to me. I was about 18, 19 years old, and it was the 4th of July. And uh, before, before the fireworks display, we were watching Gangs of New York with Leonardo DiCaprio. And we were about an hour into it, and this is like a two-hour movie. So it was about 10 minutes uh, before the fireworks display, and we stopped the movie and, uh, you know, went to go watch the fireworks. And afterwards, everyone's like, oh, let's go out, blah, 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 blah. And I was like, ah, I don't want to go out. I'll just go home then. And I'm about 40 minutes away from home. So I started driving home, and I was like, you know what? I want to finish watching Gangs of New York. So I'm headed now to my video store, which closes in about 20 minutes. So I'm speeding. You know, I'm on the expressway, and I'm speeding. And I finally get off the expressway, and from the exit on the expressway to where the video store is, which is only not even a half a mile away, there's like 15 stop signs. I didn't blow them. I rolled through each and every single one. And what I didn't notice was there was a cop who, as soon as I got off the expressway, started following me and just started racking up how many stop signs I kind of just rolled through. So he actually pulls me over in the parking lot of the video store. I get out of the car, I have my license and registration in one hand, and I have my keys in the other. I'm like, excuse me, officer, I'm sorry, I usually don't get out of my car, but there is a movie I want to finish watching, I need to go rent, and they close in two minutes. Can I please go in? And he's like, okay, you know, I hand him the keys and everything, and I, I even just give him my wallet, too, because um, the guys in the video store know me, and all I needed was a little bit of cash, so I took some cash out. He had everything, okay? So I go rent my movie, come back out. And he's like, okay, please tell me what movie was so important that you need to blow 15 stop signs. And I'm like, Gangs of New York. And he started crying because he was laughing so hard. He was saying, oh, my God, that's such a horrible movie. And, you know, what, what are you thinking? You know, kind of thing. And we actually, you know, just started talking like, you know, two normal guys just meeting, you know, some night. And, uh, you know, after everything was said and done, he actually didn't give me a ticket because, you know, we were just having such a good time talking about different movies that we like and everything. And uh, he had to give me something because he did pull me over. So he gave me a non-moving viol violation ticket. Uh, and if you don't know what that is, it's um, like a moving violation ticket would be like speeding or blowing stop signs or any other rule of the road that you break. That's a moving violation. They take your license. The fines are huge. They're like $90 or $180, depending on how big of the offense it is. A non-moving violation ticket is maybe not having your stickers on your car or the light that shines your license plate was out, which that was the actual ticket he gave me. They don't take your license. It's like a $20 or $30 ticket, and, you know, it's basically just a warning, like, get it fixed, you know, kind of thing. Or maybe even like a tail light out or something like that. They might give you, you know, a non-moving violation ticket for that. So another situation where I got pulled over by an officer was me and my wife were going to our her side of the family's fake Christmas. And it was in July. That's right. Or not July. I'm sorry. January. That's right. I said January. They, they hold their fake Christmases after Christmas. Don't ask me why. It's her family. Blah. Okay, so we we're kind of running kind of late, so I was going 70, 80 miles an hour. Cop pulls me over, and in Illinois, you have to wear your seatbelt, both the drivers and the passenger. Either one can get a ticket. It doesn't even matter that the passenger is not driving. They can still get a ticket for not having their seatbelt on, which I found out because my brother got pulled over for that. 
So I tell, t- I, I, you know, I tell my wife before the officer shows up to the car, I'm like, put your seatbelt on. And uh, <clears throat> instead of doing it discreetly, I really just said, put your seatbelt on discreetly. But I thought she would already have known that she starts flailing around her arms are all moving she's going up and down up and down you know making the officer very very nervous and looking very 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 suspicious so officer has his hand on his gun flashlight in hand and mind you this is january at two o'clock and the sun is actually shining it was not dark out flashlight in the car looking around and actually it was a good thing that my wife did this because i work for a government agency <clears throat> and i had my id badge on me at my uh on my council area and he shines a light on it shines it up at me and says where do you work and i tell him you know i'm a contractor that works for a government agency and this is what i do and he actually let me off with a warning uh about this i i couldn't believe it i i thought for sure i was getting a ticket you know like a 120 bucks or however much it was and uh it uh it actually turned out to be a good thing now um it it will never hurt to try and make the officer laugh it it can never not you know get you in more trouble it it will never get you in more trouble. Most times, and I've I've met like over sixty officers, and I I you know know personally sixty officers now, and uh, they're just regular Joes who most of the time just love dicking around and having fun. All right, so it does not hurt to try and make them laugh. All right, guys, this video has been coming to an end about twenty seconds. Uh, please let me know what you guys think. If you like uh, me a little bit more upbeat, or you want me to go back to the more uh, chilled, you know, this is uh, I dig your grave, bringing you some whatever the fuck it is. All right, and uh, coming up right here, right now, bite me. All right, I did not die there. I'm fifty and one. That is my final score. I don't care what the scoreboard says up here. All right, so that's it, guys. I'm fifty and two. Till next time, guys. Later.